26B is REZ 2021-26. This is Ridgecrest at Rocky Ford Road. This involves 37 acres. It is currently M2. The request is for R10 and it has county utilities. Mr. Dillard. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Again, the 37 acre property pictured here is depicted in M2 zoning and the request is for R10 suburban residential zoning. The motivation for this request is 114 lot residential subdivision. In November of 2020, this property was rezoned from EA to State Agricultural to its current M2 zoning for the construction of an industrial facility to service both current and potential future industrial interest in the area, as stated in the letter of intent at that time. The subject property is within the urban service area and within an industrial character area, primarily used in manufacturing, wholesale trade, distribution activities, and that may or may not generate excessive noise, particular matter, vibration, smoke, and dust, etc. For conference plan guidance, there are no recommended residential zonings in this character area. Based on the proposed uh, land use, ULDC buffer area standards between residential and M2 zonings would require a 40 foot buffer to the north, east, and south property lines for those adjacent properties. The TRC had no technical objections to the proposed layout uh, beyond the buffer standards. The staff finds the request inconsistent with the conference plan and existing land use patterns. The Planning Commission recommends denial of the request by a split vote of 6 3 with one abstention. And the Development Authority has expressed their opposition to the request uh, based on the current and future potential clients in this area. Thank you, Mr. Diller. Any questions for Mr. Diller? <clears throat> okay, hearing none, we'll move to the public hearing portion of the meeting. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. Anyone that would like to speak in opposition? Opposition. Please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please.
found it again to um, another residential area, closely impacted residential neighborhood. So can you not give some type of continuity to the standards of our lifestyle by not just going yes, no, yes, no. Let's keep it in two. That's what we, you know, it's been done to. Let's go with it. And I just ask, I know a lot of our commissioners do have contacts in the building community. So if you would consider accusing yourself from the vote, because you know if you had contact with James about this project, you would be required, you know, to talk to me too much of a, a personal conflict that went for that. So overall, it's just not something I think our local community would be called. Um, there may be the entirety of my family. Okay, is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? Anyone that would like to speak in favor? Please come forward and state your name and address for the record. <coughs> That's all that's ever been in there. 
and it's some folks, this is some sort of Christian based group that, that he rents to um, that has rented. The rest of the development, development property with the water, sewer, curb, asphalt, paved parking lot, none of that has ever taken off. So the interest is not there for a small development, a small industrial type development. No one has tried to go out there other than part of us. I wish y'all would take all that into consideration with y'all's um, decision tonight. If y'all have any questions. Any questions? How long has this piece of property been, been for sale, Mr. Warren? Um, I know it was for sale for a lot. Of, I know for a fact it's been for sale for like four and a half, five years. It was for sale as the RA. And then um, I believe John Simon put it up for rezoning in intent, with intentions to do a small type industrial valve oil part. And then I think after it was rezoned, uh, his interest moved elsewhere because I think it's just what the financial you know, finance <coughs> a good decision for him to try to build up another interest for him to try to do it. So, so then Mr. Payne, which owns the property, uh, Travis Payne who owns the property, he's he's there now he's stuck with a, a piece of property that got rezoned that is still sitting for sale. And that's been two years. Any other questions? All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Mr. Chairman, would you let the record reflect that I'm going to repeat my question? Uh, yes, we can do that. Let the record show that Commissioner Ornstein is requested to be to be recused from this issue. All right. Uh, we'll close the public hearing portion of the meeting, and Commissioners, I'll turn it over to you for your consideration. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, does the development authority have any interest in buying this piece of property for future economic development, industry development, industrial development? Well, yeah, I mean, we could we could ask, but I'm not sure at this time if they really would. And we've already gone through the questioning portion of them as they spoke. Um, but I am sure if a development came in and the opportunity. Uh, prevailed itself, and certainly I would think that there would be something that would be worked out from that standpoint. Okay. One thing that we have to consider looking at these things is, and, and I believe it's Ms. Singletary may have touched on it, M2 property is not easy to come by. It's not easy to get the zoning to start with for M2 because that is pretty heavy industrial zoning. Um, so that is one thing to be considered. Uh, that it is that now um, and the other thing is again uh, contrary to um, what's been stated you're bringing residential right up to heavy industrial on an industrial development that potentially is going to grow in that area and any noise of anything that you've got is just going to continue to grow as the development itself grows and so we could People are going to complain if they've got noise or more noise, more noise than what they had when they first moved the in. So it's still going to become an issue, in my opinion. Motion to follow the planning commission's recommendation and deny this request. Okay, we have a motion to deny. Do we have a second? Second. Do we have a second. Need a discussion. Hearing none, will all in favor of the motion please raise your right hand. Any opposed? Right hand. Okay, it's three to one. For the motion. All right, we'll move on to agenda item.